Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. Uh, so the fourth video for the experiment, the last experiment is experiment five, uh, non sinusoidal oscillator. This is lab sheet. Okay, so this lab also is the experimental exper experimental uh, lab, but we change to simulation. Okay, due to due to the situation now. Okay. For this lab, we have two part. Part one, square wave oscillator, which is we want to produce the square wave um, for the output, and part two is the triangular wave oscillator. Okay. So for the first part, I will show you the um, uh, the square wave uh, oscillator. So for this, I will use a Proteus Eight Professional. Same as lab 4. So you just click schematic capture. Okay. And we will draw the circuit. Here we have a op amp, resistor, capacitor. Okay. Only three components. So you can find the op amp first. Okay. Use 7 for 1 op amp. It's ordinary. Okay. Please check that your op M in lab sheet is um, you have to mirror this so that same as your lab sheet and then for C capacitor you can find 0.57 microfarad capacitor okay you get this okay this one also you can obtain and then register just uh, an ordinary register generic one so you can find the generic register okay we will use three register with 10 kilo ohm so capacitor will be connected to the C Fit that resistor to the pin number 6 and part 1 is connected to 1 to C other one is to the pin number 6 output okay, and then we're gonna use the ground one Alright, so for the VCC, positive and negative, so pin number 4 is negative VCC. So you go to the uh, generator mode, so you choose the DC. So you just put the DC generator mode here. Okay, you can connect now. Okay, and click at the level, so this one is minus 15. So this one you should put minus because you don't have the uh, ground connection. And this one is positive 15 volt. Okay, so you complete your circuit. So register you don't have to change the value because all the, it used the original value 10k, 10k and 10k. So from the lab sheet, it need you to, it want you to observe the waveform at pin 2 which is the input actually inverting input and pin 6 if you can see pin 2 is the pin connected to the C so this one should be the uh, charging discharging capacitor uh, waveform and pin 6 the output uh, so we expect to have the uh, square wave output okay so let's see how we can generate the uh, output the graph so you go to the instrument you select oscilloscope so i put the oscilloscope here and x mirror it okay channel a i choose to connect to the inverting output in the input and channel b is the output pin Right, so now you can run this run here. 
simulation and your output will be out here okay so you can save this by right click and first if you want to change the printer okay so uh, this one is the, for the printer okay. the black you can choose to have white Okay, so this one is the background. So this one you change to black. This one is red. Then okay. Then print. Choose Microsoft PDF. And go to the lab five. You make another folder. Okay, so this one is square wave. Square wave. Result. Go to lab 5. Okay, so this is your channel A. Okay, charging this charging capacitor and the waveform, output waveform, square wave. Okay, so here is the channel, uh, the setting. So channel A is 5 volt per division. Okay, and channel B is 5, also 5 volt per division. So it's uh, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 30, okay. Well, this one is count as half. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 25, okay. And this one is 1, 2, 3. 3 plus uh, 5 is 15. So what you need is this graph. Okay, you can give uh, put in the report and also you can also screenshot or snip the circuit. Yeah, I want to see the circuit that you draw. I will save this as your lab five circuit. Okay, square with circuit. Right. So for the frequency of uh, frequency of the oscillation, okay. you can see from here. Okay. So for the time is. Uh, one millisecond per division, okay. So you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten millisecond. So one over ten millisecond is the frequency of the oscillation. Okay, please do the calculation, okay, from the graph that you have. So that's all for the lab five part one. Okay, uh, so. Good luck and try it. If you have any question, you can ask me uh, through WhatsApp or Telegram. Thank you very much.